At the borderline, I slowed the car to a crawl. It's gonna be great, Roxy. You're gonna love being a TV. Come on. I know that you're excited that you get to see me every day. Guys, <laughs> I'm fine. Really. Okay, so we got you a first day gift. I told you we should have gotten the Chanel knockoff. <laughs> Roxy, stay calm. No drama, please. Guys, I'm fine. It's just my ex-boyfriend cuddling up with the swamp thing that's stolen from me. What's there not to be calm about? How about I just ditch this and come to practice the instead? Like, please. <laughs> I'd love that, but this place would fall apart without you. Ah! Can we get some help over here? Uh, we got you. How do we chat around? That was exciting. I hope that kid's okay. He will be. The nurse has just admitted him. All right, but it's almost 9 a.m. Where's the other TV? We'll speak of the literal devil. We start at 9 a.m. sharp, which means you're late. I was just grabbing a coffee. Save the coffee for lunch break. All right, as head TV this year, I'm gonna be following Dr. Henry, which means you two are with Benny. All right, look alive, people. And welcome to the program. She warms up once you get to know her. Well, not really. Um, it's time for the best part. Ta-da! Are these even required? In your case, it can only help. Look who's talking. Uh. Hey, guys. Update from our last video in the ER. Long and earbud hurts. How are you feeling, Edward? This isn't funny. Something could be seriously wrong. I looked it up. It's not dangerous as long as the battery doesn't explode. What happens if the battery explodes? Hi, Edward. I'm Dr. Atkins. I heard you're having some technical difficulties. <laughs> I'm sorry. Make sure to tune in for our next video, guys. This is crazy. I need you to keep the team volunteers in line. We cannot afford any mistakes this year, especially not with the new head of pediatrics. You got it. Good morning, Dr. H. Hi, Ben. Um, you left your lunch at home, so I just like put it in the break room. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My mom made you a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm sorry. I know. <laughs> what time is it? It's not even 10 a.m. and I've already seen four flu patients and some genius who swallowed an earbud. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Um, here, I want you to meet the team volunteers. Oh, hi. Uh, this is Benny. He is our veteran TV. He's going to be in pediatrics this year, so if you need anything. <gasps> children looking after children. How delightful. <laughs> Just let us know how we can help. Oh, you can start by moving um, Air Bud Boy. Uh, wait, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The patient in ER3. Upstairs. And I'd love a macchiato. Caramel. Oh my god, I love caramel. I'm gonna try every flavor that Frank. Do I look like a personal assistant? <laughs> so Mrs. Wilson's daughter was saying she might visit later today, so that should help her mood. Thank you. Amelia? What are you doing here? Studying AP physics. What does it look like? You don't look too hot. Are you okay? It's just the flu. Perfect timing, I know. Keep your distance and you may have a better chance at beating me. Thanks, I might. It's just been a lot, you know, studying and managing this program. Wow, Maeve, you've almost got a whole 30 seconds without mentioning this program or your NYC internship. Good job. Well, feel better. Sorry, that was unnecessary. All right, I'll see what I can do to find you a room. Just hang tight. Thanks. Okay, so there is definitely an earbud in there. <laughs> Am I going to be okay? Oh, yeah. You should be able to pass it without much problem, but we are concerned about your abdominal pain, so we do want to keep you here to monitor. Are you sure that's necessary? <laughs> Perfect timing. Benny and his fleet of volunteers are going to take you upstairs. Come on in. Yeah, like this couldn't get any more embarrassing. Nice to meet you. I'm Travis. Come on. Don't leave me hanging. Nice to meet you. I'm Roxy. 
Thank you so much, Dr. Henry. I normally wouldn't have asked this, but she didn't look great. Looks like your instincts are right. Check her pulse. See if she's breathing. Yeah. Check her breathing. Can I get a girl in here, please? Amelia, can you hear me? Her pulse is steady. I don't like that. Amelia, Amelia, if you can hear me, open your eyes. Come on. Yeah, she's non-responsive. Your fever was 104.4. You're lucky you came in when you did. Yeah, lucky me. Well, we're gonna get you feeling better really soon. We're gonna run some tests. In the meantime, you just try to rest. Is there anything I can get you? Yeah, did someone grab my textbook? Oh, yes, I did. Um, it's right here in case you need it. Thanks. But I, I think you should maybe get some rest. Um, no, I'm okay. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Well, let me know if you need anything. How you feeling, Edward? Scale of one to 10. Uh, 12. I think I know what labor feels like. Oh my God, that's not good. Wait, I recognize you two from that video. Here we go. You guys uh, were in that fight video, right? At Crown Lake. Look, you guys stole all our views. It's fun watching me win, isn't it? You didn't win. Oh. Okay, you stay put while I go get Dr. Atkins. Cece, do you want to join me? Okay. I know she's your friend, but she started it. Look, I'm trying to be Switzerland in all this, but while you're here, you just really need to be a team player, okay? Team player, right. Just try to see the value of what we do here. I mean, you might even actually get something out of it, okay? Now, uh, go do a lap, cool down, and get back up there. I need a latte. Something's off with this earbud, kid. You shouldn't be in this much pain. You think the earbud's masking something else? I'm gonna order a CT to be safe. That makes sense. They look cozy, don't they? Sorry, what are you talking about? I mean, the tension between them is so thick, you could just cut it with a scalpel. Come on, that was funny. What's wrong? Nothing. Fine, my nemesis is here, and she's also applying to Columbia, and she literally studied so hard, she made herself pass out. Like, how do I compete with that? Just try harder, and maybe you can make yourself sick, too. Hey, Maeve, I'd like you to take Amelia down for a CT scan. For the flu? I don't think it's the flu. You know, she had a kidney transplant five years ago, and the preliminary test showed that she has a UTI, and the UTI left untreated in a... Can present like a flu, but can lead to a serious kidney infection. Especially if she's on immunosuppressants. Bingo. Let's pray for her sake, it's just the flu. My God, why would you do that? You guys are idiots. Easy to say in hindsight, but we got a ton of hits. Let's see your video. It's Edward's favorite. Let the boy rest. He's finally sleeping. I'm not asleep, but I actually feel Lohood's better. It's such a relief. See? Now let's watch. <laughs> You're seriously watching that right now? You're so sad. You're just bitter because I humiliated you and you deserved it. You're insane, just get over it. I won, I won the fight and I won Peter. Uh, you're joking. What the heck is going on in here? She started it. It was her. Enough. This isn't the place for that. How's the patient? I feel so much better. That's what I was afraid of. One of you go grab a nurse right now. What, what's going on? Instant relief is off in the side of a burst appendix. A burst what? All right, we're gonna bullet the leader of saline and get him to radiology stat. Should I add another line? Yeah, prime a bag of Levo in case his BP keeps dropping. Page the OR, we're gonna need a room prep immediately. What is going on? He needs emergency surgery. Ready? Roxy, grab the IV. We need more hands! Don't worry, Edward, everything's gonna be okay. Is he gonna be okay? What is going on? Appendicitis. Cece, Roxy, you can go home. I expect a lot more from you two. This program is already on the chopping block due to low interest and budget cuts. If you two don't get it together, the TV program is finished. Okay, I'm gonna throw it, and you're gonna try to hit the door, okay? Sorry. It's fine. Just try not to split your stitches. 
TK, I've been watching your videos. You guys really need to take it easy. Wheelchair races and baseball, like you literally just had major surgery. Ugh, but I'm so bored. I can't wait to get out of here. I can't, I'm gonna miss this place. It's really grown. Yeah, well, you're not the one who had a near-death experience, so. Just try and rest. Maybe you'll actually get out of here. Um, but whatever you do, don't listen. Okay? <laughs> so that'll be our plan of action, Amelia. I can't believe I have to go back on dialysis. Hey, it's not forever. And because of your condition, you are high up on the transplant list. I should have come in earlier. I can't believe I let this happen. Well, you know what? As soon as you get a new kidney, there's an excellent chance you'll be up on your feet in a couple months. But what if I don't get one right away, or if it doesn't take? My mom won't let me go across the country in the fall. I'll tell you what, let's hope for the best. Yeah, I can't imagine that you may get it. I'd really appreciate it if you weren't involved in this conversation. Okay, yeah, um, I can respect your privacy. So, what do you think? Do you have any questions? Do you guys have any apple juice? <laughs> I think I can make that happen. I'll send Vinny in. This tastes like swamp water, but I guess they like it, swamp monster. Sorry, not everyone likes their coffee as bitter as their personality. Hey, knock it off. You've caused enough trouble already. Everything okay? I'm fine. I need everybody on their A-game. I can't have another repeat of what happened last time. Roxy, you're organizing the shed. CC, I'll get you set up in pediatrics. Cleaning, really. I you think- You got it, boss. Thank you. Ready? This is cruel. What's Maeve's beef with me? Did you like forget about fighting with Cece and letting a patient go into sepsis? Actually, the Edward thing was my fault. What are you doing here? I'm keeping Edward entertained while he's recovering. Oh, too bad, friend. What? I'm, like, super entertaining. Well, Benny's not, unfortunately. I'm on cleaning duty. Do you want help? I'm, like, super, super good at cleaning. Yeah, right. I bet your mom still cleans your room for you. I clean my own room, and I tie my own shoes. <gasps> wow, want a prize? Okay, great. Travis, if you want to keep flirting with Roxy, you can actually help her clean the shed. The shed? The shed. Hmm? Okay. All right, so this is the playroom. And that is Dash. He is super shy. I've honestly never seen him not on his phone. The doctors are trying to figure out what's causing his stomach aches, but he doesn't really say much. So I'd love for you to just keep him company. I'll do my best. Just try not to make things worse. Hey, I'm Cece. Do you want to play a board game or something? No. Neither do I. What's going on? I'm swamped with apps. Dr. Atkins wants my help coming up with fundraiser ideas for the pediatric wing. And to top it all off, Amelia kicked me out of her consult this morning with Dr. Henry. Yikes. <laughs> Did she say why? I don't know, because she hates me and wants me to look bad. Maeve. Oh, I know, not everything revolves around me. It's just, Benny, I am freaking out. Just relax. We already separated Cece and Roxy, and I'm sure they're doing fine on their own. And as for Amelia, just give her some space. I'm sure she'll come around. I hope so. I'll see you later. Sounds good.
I need charger. My phone's dead. What do you want me to do about it? Can I use yours? Seriously? I have no games on my phone. All phones have games. Fine. Mm. Hey. Hey, what's up? Have you seen Travis? He was supposed to be keeping me company. No, I haven't seen him. Sorry. But you can hang out with us, right, Dash? How's your recovery going? Fine. The good news is the headphones still work. At least Travis can't make me do anything else stupid for a while. You know you don't have to listen to everything he says, right? He's a go big or go home kind of guy. He doesn't really like the word no. Why don't you make him do it then? What? Who's Peter? No one. Then why is he texting you a bunch of heart emojis? Sounds like Roxy. Don't let that psycho get you down. You know she's just jealous that I love you? <laughs> What? Give Ew. it back. Give he it loves back. You? Edward, help me. Oh. You're doing the most now. Oh. Give it You're back. You're on your own here. Give it back. OK, but do you remember when Mr. Wallace fell in front of the entire school assembly? Oh my gosh. Or that field trip to the aquarium? We practically ran that place. Oh my gosh. Yes, and Andrew almost fell in the shark tank. Uh, there you are. Amelia, is he bothering you? <laughs> no, he's fine. I'm not bothering her. We go way back. Oh. Oh, I didn't know. OK, good. <laughs> well, we're going to have to leave you, though, because I have so much to tell you about Roxy. Or you could stay here. You sure? I'm stuck in this chair for the next four hours. I could use a distraction. Oh. Well, OK. But you didn't hear this from me. But I think our friend Roxy has a little bit of a crush. No way. <laughs> like, I'm so serious. You said you'd help? Look what I found. <laughs> you look like a pirate. Arr! Ye be right. And look. One for the lady. I am not wearing that. Come on. I dare you. I cannot believe I'm doing this. What was that? Arr! I cannot believe I'm doing this. That's more like it. Look, it's Maeve. <laughs> Looks just like her. Yeah, do you like it? That's hilarious. Draw something else. Uh, okay. What should I draw? Should I draw you? Yes. I tr try to mess my hair, like, but a little bit. Spiky? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Wow, how did you do that? I can show you if you want. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna grab it. Yeah, you would have a hang of it. See, you got it. You have more talent than me. Just color and more, yeah. And it's like, I want to support Roxy, but like, this situation is so messy. And not to mention, she's ruining this whole program for me. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, Roxy's not exactly good at doing things for other people under the best of circumstances. Breakups bring out the worst in people. Sounds like she maybe just needs a rebound. Yeah, if only Travis were on the program, then fix all your problems. <laughs> Travis? I was kidding. No, like, that's it. You're literally a genius for that. Like, <gasps> he called me a genius. <laughs> That's a great idea. Didn't even think of that you at sure? first. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Mikey. Yes. Like, you were on it with that one. I better stop. Right? That's perfect. You come here often? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 
What are you guys doing? Having fun. It's not that big of a deal. It is an incredible waste of money and supplies, especially when the hospital is dealing with serious budget cuts. All right, you know what, guys? Just go home. But I still have an hour to serve. Guess you'll have to find another time to make it up. But it's not that big a deal, huh? <laughs> Think you can help me get this off? I can't. Hello? Someone help me? Sure you got everything? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are you guys going? Home. Home. I think I have a better idea. You ran away without saying goodbye. Sorry. Um, thanks for all your help today. No problem. It was fun. Um, sorry for getting you in trouble. No worries. Uh, it's gonna be boring without you around. Really? Um, I joined the program. I hope that's okay. I, I guess it's a yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So today is Travis's first day, so let's just hope this plan works out, okay? Mm, I think it's a recipe for a disaster. When it blows up, I will blame you. What? Don't blame me. Mikey thought of this. Hey, it might be just crazy enough to work. Oh my god, it's like that movie Major League. <gasps> A classic! Never heard of it. So basically, like this band of misfits come together and realize that despite their differences, they can still win. Who are you? <laughs> Mikey baby <made me> watch it. <laughs> you guys are so cute. I kind of hate it. Man, I can't wait till I can switch from courting Dr. Henry to courting potential love interests instead. What was that? You know, like recommendation letters? It's the only part of my Columbia application that's left. Oh my god. Like, please phrase that better next time. Yeah. Like, please. Like, no. <laughs> it's not it. Okay. Switch your pose. Um, profile. Go. Nice, nice. I should be getting a commission. Or I can pay you in compliments. Oh, hey, guys. Welcome, look at you two. What a great addition to the team. All right, <laughs> let's get started. Sorry to interrupt. I wanted to talk to you all about something I saw in the playroom. <laughs> I can explain, I'm sorry. Don't be. This is hilarious. Dash hasn't stopped drawing since you showed him how to do this. No one's been able to get through to him and here you come in and voila. It was nothing. It's not nothing. I want you to keep doing art therapy with the kids. And if it goes well, we can create art projects with some of the pediatric patients that we can auction to raise money at the fundraiser. What do you think, Maeve? Sounds great. Good, because you're going to spearhead that effort. Yeah. Take notes from Cece. Will do. Go team! <laughs> All right, Cece, you and Edward will head up art therapy today. Cece picks up a crayon and all of a sudden she's saving the day. What'd you say? Oh my. And Roxy, you and Travis will help with transfer in the ER. Far, far away from Cece. Okay, let's go. Which station is ER 6? I think it's that guy right there. Hey! My dad's in the army, too. Hello. We're here to take you for an x-ray. Will he miss his x-ray? I don't really know how stuff works around here. What do you think happened? No clue. Maybe we should call Dr. Cece to help us with the diagnosis. You really got it out for that girl, huh? She started it. Kissing my boyfriend and acting all innocent doesn't really put you in my... Good books. Your ex-boyfriend, and it sounds like he sucks. Yeah, he does. Yep, he doesn't deserve you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I come in? Cool, well, I brought you some magazines. Thought that they would keep you busy. I'm okay on the reading material, 
The only upside about being on dialysis is that I have plenty of time to finish my applications. Well, mine are almost done. I'm just waiting on a letter of recommendation from Dr. Henry. Same. Sorry, he's writing you a letter too? Mm-hmm. We've become super close. So what's your essay about? Um, about my New York City internship. It was a pretty transformative experience. Mmm. What? Sounds cool. Okay, well, uh, what's your essay about? You know, just suddenly facing mortality in the middle of a highly competitive college application process. Something about being between life and death, something like that, you know? Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Really great. Great job. Nice shirt. Thanks. You know they're playing at the Attaway Bowl, right? I know, but it's so expensive. And I think sold out. Cece, look. Great job, Dash. Thanks. I know you didn't plan to be here, but you're a hit. That's what you get for fighting your boyfriend's crazy ex. Right, Roxy. I'm not proud of it, but she needs to get over him. Her obsession over Peter isn't healthy. They broke up ages ago. It's not cool being called the other girl when you're not. Amelia called my essay cool. That's great. No, you don't understand. That was it, just that one word. No other adjectives or descriptors or anything else. That's messed up, right? Yeah. Are you even listening? Sorry, sorry, what, what? Thank you. What service? Only the best out of the way, General. <laughs> Here, I'll take this. Thank you. Um, can I get an extra blanket while you're at it? Yeah. Thank you. So, how'd you end up here? Oh, snowmobile accident. Don't trust your depth perception too much at eight in the morning, I'd say. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. How'd you end up here? Oh, uh, I got into a fight. <laughs> I don't believe you. to compete with her Nobel Prize winning performance of facing death with dignity. I've literally never even had stitches before. Maeve, I'm sure it's fine. I think you're I need to rewrite my essay. Maybe I write about my dog dying. Ah! Oh my god. Travis and Roxy. Help! Help! Please! Help! What's going on? I was showing him the fight video and I dropped my phone. I don't know what's happening. He's freaking out. Dave. Dave, you're okay. Get away. No. You're here. You're stop. in the hospital. What's going on? You're in the hospital. What did you do? Didn't do anything. Please. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Travis, great job. That's very impressive. You keep up the good work, you're gonna get some time in the ER. Maeve, Benny, nice job. How did you know what to do this? Don't say it. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. I told you so. <laughs> I told you so. You were amazing. I grew up in military bases, so I've seen my fair share of PTSD episodes. They're scary, but I saw how they were handled. Wow. The hardest thing Peter's ever had to deal with is flying business class. That's only the second time you've talked about your ex today. Oh. I didn't notice. Is that a problem? It's okay. It's just... I like you, Roxy. And I was wondering if I could take you to ice cream sometime. If you're not over your ex, it's okay. Ice cream sounds great. Hey 
guess what? What? Dr. Atkins asked me to help out with the big fundraiser. Are you even listening? Yeah, 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 of course. It's great. She's got a lot going on right now, and like, I get that, but like, please don't dump all your emotional baggage on me. Yeah, I mean, you do so much for everyone. You gotta cut yourself a break. It's like, I'm trying. How about we go home and watch Love Taxi? <gasps> oh my God, I love, I love your ideas. Yeah? Yeah, okay. let's do it, okay. Ice cream too, ice cream? Yeah, duh! Okay, like... man. What did you mean when you said my essay was cool? What? I don't have time for this. I didn't mean anything. Oh, yeah, you did. You wanted me to have to rewrite my essay and mess up my shot. I have way more important things to worry about than you. What's going on in here, Amelia? I'm Are you fine. Feeling okay? We're just talking. Well, your heart is racing and you're in danger of going into hypertension. I'm fine. I'm just a little dizzy. Then you need to try and calm down or I'm going to have to stop the machines. No, please don't. Wait, what is going on? Can I help? You need to get out of here. Now. Okay. You're in my way. Amelia, hi, how are you? Alive, for now. Can you close the door, please? We are so thrilled about all the work you've been doing with the patients, which is why we'll be featuring all of this wonderful work in an auction to help raise funds for our new pediatric wing. Great job, gang. All right, TVs. Come see CCRI to see how you can help out with the art auction. Guys, I'm serious about this. We really need all hands on deck, OK? Who would pay money for this? Roxy, no one's what? asking you to be here. I literally have to be here. Celebrating your success is the last thing I want to be doing. That's mutual. I don't think anyone wants you here. At least I'm contributing. What have you done except for flirt with Travis? OK, and we're leaving. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Roxy, I think some nurses need help with lunches or something. Oh, but who's going to help Cece with her finger painting? Stop talking, OK? OK. I'll come with. You OK? Wasn't a big deal. I mean, you made fun of children's art in front of children. Are you taking her aside? <laughs> Oh, oh. I'm sorry. We didn't know anyone was going to be in here. Oh. We were just dropping off your lunches, but we'll be on our way. Oh, thank you. And hey, before you rush off, you don't happen to have any extras of those pineapple cups, do you? Oh, I can check. <laughs> That'd be great. My wife is obsessed. <laughs> Gotta find a silver lining somewhere, am I right? One minute you're fine, and the next minute, your husband's helping you to the bathroom. <laughs> How did it happen? If you don't mind me asking. Anniversary ski trip. I'm trying to show off for this one. <laughs> now he's helping me to the bathroom. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Oh, that's so romantic. How long have you guys been together? 14 years. 15. Who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> what about you two? You're such a cute couple. <laughs> oh, uh, we're, uh... Of course you are. I could tell by the way you look at each other. Otherwise, it's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Dr. H, my mom wants to know if you're going to be home for dinner, and she needs to be checking your phone more often. Did she tell you that? No, I did. What do I look like, secretary? You can tell your mom that I'll be working late with Dr. Atkins getting ready for the gala. Or, sorry, I can tell her. Better. Thanks. Hey, Dr. H, uh, I'm here to surprise Cece for her birthday. Hey, Peter, good to see you. Hey, you folks coming to the big gala next week? We wouldn't miss it. Fantastic. Yeah. Hey, Benny here can show you where Cece's working. If he's not too busy. Right this way. <laughs> Tell your folks I said hi. Yeah, yeah, we'll do. So did you get that in the gift shop? What? No, 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 there's a look cheap? Oh my god, no, it's so cute. <laughs> hey, I brought lunch. 
Oh, and is now a good time for you to look at my ankle? It is still sore from practice. No, yeah, of course. I, just, I have to take him to see you really quick, so just, you yeah, know, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. I don't need a chaperone. It's the, uh, the P actress floor, right? Yeah, it's just around the corner and across the courtyard. You can't miss her. Thanks, Benny. Hey, Roxy. Peter, what are you doing here? Oh, Cece's birthday. How thoughtful. Look, can you just get off of Cece's back? I was hoping we could all be cool and, and you two could coexist. I think that's asking a lot of me, considering. All that is water under the bridge. You seem to be doing just fine without me. Where's your new boyfriend anyway? It's never gonna be just water under the bridge. Uh, hi. Hi. Peter, this is... Travis. Right. Right. Nice to meet you, Trey. See you around, Roxy. What was that about? Nothing. It didn't seem like nothing. Can we just drop it? Sure, Roxy. Any plans for your birthday? Probably, I'll just go watch a movie with my parents. Sounds like a blast. Shut up. I've been meaning to give you something. You got me a gift? Sharp edges? Oh my gosh, Edward, this is so sweet. Cece? Peter, what are you doing here? I thought I surprised you, but I see you're already celebrating. Peter, this is Edward. He got me Sharp Edges tickets. You know how much I love them. Uh, thanks, man. Uh, I try to get tickets, but they're all sold out. Actually, I was thinking she and I would go together. Uh, like, like a date. <laughs> With my girlfriend. Peter, let's go somewhere else. No, no, no. I want to wanna know why your friend Edward here bought you concert tickets. They're hers. Let her decide. Good idea. Tell us, Cece, him or me? See what you did? Cece, come on. Hey, are you okay? You look like you need a french fry. No, I'm fine. Can I get you anything? Where's Liam? Oh, he ran the store to grab me some pineapple. We came down here to look for some. They're fresh out of fruit salad. I could have done that for you. Don't worry about it. It gives him something to do to help. It's his love language. That's amazing. I wish I had someone like that. You can't be telling me that cute boy I saw you with earlier wouldn't stop everything to go and run you some pineapple. Travis? Oh, I mean, he's great. He did join the program for me, but it's just been complicated. I don't want to bore you. Does it look like I'm going anywhere? It just always hasn't been easy. My ex-boyfriend still gets under my skin. That can't be a good sign for us, right? I hate to break it to you, but my ex still haunts me, and we've been separated for 15 years. You can only just see his ridiculous status updates. Really? Our exes were pieces of work. Doesn't mean what you have now isn't great. Don't be fooled by movies and TV. Relationships are brutal. It's hard work. But at the end of the day, when you're stuck at the hospital and you can't do a freaking thing on your own, you gotta think about who you want to be there to go and grab you some pineapple. Ow. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... Roxy and Cece's drama blew up today. Maeve's just a stress case. My mom's worried about Dr. H. And I, I'm just, I'm drained, you know? Yeah. Benny, I get it. You're a great son, a great volunteer, and an even better friend, but you can't fix people. You know, can I tell you something? Yeah. Now that I think about it, 
you are the only one in my life that just really doesn't ask anything of me. And I think for that, I just, like, I love you. You, for your, your form is, your form is great. I love your form. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. It looks really good lately. You've been getting better. Practice. Yeah, getting better day by day. <laughs> you should come sometime. Yeah. That'd be so fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Sorta. Of. I just broke up with Peter. Cece, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to offend anyone with the tickets, but maybe they were a bad idea. Stop, the tickets were so nice. You did nothing wrong. I'm sorry about Peter. He seems like... A jerk? Yeah, I've never seen that side of him before. I'm sorry. Me too. Hey, Travis, can we talk? I need a little time. Time? Why? Look, I'm sorry, Roxy. But maybe you and I aren't a good idea. All right, you guys. We got a lot of big donors coming in for the fundraiser today. And Maeve is meeting with the Columbia alumni. So we really need to get this together. Cece will be setting the exhibit up. So if anyone wants to help. I'll help. Uh, but Travis. Roxy, you and Edward can actually, you know, fold programs, stuff the goodie bags. Okay? Look, did a scuffle between Fielder and Para stop the Milwaukee Brewers from making the 2008 playoffs? Like, no. I mean, sure, they had their differences, but in the end, they won. And that's what we're gonna be doing today, okay? So who's with me? I've been watching a lot of baseball, Mikey. Okay? Sue me. I am so nervous about meeting the Columbia alumni today. Girl, don't be. Everything is under control, and all you have to do is focus on entertaining just one person. Yeah, but I'm not the entertaining type. Like, how do I get her to like me? Uh, just be yourself. When has that ever worked for me? Wait, am I actually a horrible person? Brought you these in case you get chilly. Thanks. You look weirdly stiff and formal today. Oh, well, thanks for noticing. I have my alumni interview today. Oh, I've already met her. She's great. You'll be fine. Sorry, you've met her already? You've got to be kidding me. Sorry. Good luck on that event today. I'm participating too. Right, thanks. Hey, Maeve. What? When she asks why you want to go to Columbia, just make sure you tell her that it's because the campus is a masterpiece in the middle of the greatest city in the world. I wish that's what I would have told her. Oh, um. Thanks, Amelia. Yep. Travis, would you mind putting that painting more to the right? On it. Hey guys, you know, we make a pretty good but unusual team. <laughs> yeah, we do. Uh, Travis, can I talk to you? I'm kind of in the middle of something. I'm sure Cece wouldn't mind if you stepped out for a minute. This isn't a good time, Roxy. Hey, let's get you a water. Mm -hmm. I cannot believe Travis just pulled that on me. He's so immature. Yeah, well, you are too. Mikey! Roxy, listen. Nobody likes to be the second option. And Travis obviously likes you. You know, you just gotta give him some time to process all of this Peter stuff. 
And while you're at it, you should figure out what you want, too. I know what I want. I want Travis. OK. Really? You sure about that? This, it's nothing. He just started texting me again last night. Roxy, as your friend, I'm telling you, don't fall for it. He's bad news. Is somebody the alum or what? Not yet. Oh, there she is. There's there. Is it just me or do they look like a little flirty to you? Benny, I have one shot to impress this woman, and you're worried about whether Dr. H and Dr. Atkins are looking chummy? Now that you mention it. I told you. Hmm. Rebecca, I would like you to meet my star volunteer, Maeve. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I've heard a lot of great things about you. Well, I hope I don't disappoint. <laughs> Maeve, why don't you continue showing Rebecca around? We need to make rounds. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. All right. OK, Maeve. I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. I can't seem to find my speech. You left it on the counter this morning. Oh, Benny, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you seem a little distracted lately. Is everything OK, or? I'm good. Yeah. Are you? Yeah, I'm trying. Catch up with you, OK? Yeah. Hey, Dr. Atkins? Hey, Sally? How many of these are left? Does it matter? We have to fill them. Let me guess. You're mad at me, too. You did use my cousin as a rebound. You barely know anything about me. I've heard enough from Cece. You made her life miserable for dating Peter. I'm guessing she left out the part where she'd kissed Peter before he'd broken up. Yeah. Looks like I'm not the only villain in the story. I'll be right back. Could you go a little right? Actually, no, maybe left from where it was from. I'm sorry, just put it back where it was. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just Peter's stuff. He's gonna be here today. And his parents are major donors. I kind of sort of thought we would talk. What's so special about this guy anyway? We just, we just really understand each other. It's good when it's good, you know? Well, would you look at my two event planners over here? Hey, I helped too. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No, but seriously, you guys, like this place looks so good. Um, but just one more thing. Would you mind taking these signs and like placing them everywhere outside so people know where to find the art exhibit? Yeah, we're on it. Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, thank you're you. You're very so impressive, much. Maeve. It's not easy leading a group of volunteers and spearheading a fundraiser at your age. Thank you. I really do try my best. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Columbia only accepts the best. Tell me, why do you want to attend the university? Oh, that's easy. It's one of the best research institutions in the world, great faculty, and not to mention that the campus is a masterpiece in the center of the greatest city in the world. That is a great answer. Yes. Yeah. Edward, what the heck? This event starts in five minutes. You're not even like halfway done. Roxy bailed on me. Where did she go? Peter. Oh my God. I didn't think you meet with me. Well, you're persistent. I finally realized she can never be you. Didn't she break up with you? It was mutual. It was obvious to both of us how much I missed you. 
Peter, this isn't a good idea. Who says it has to be a good idea? Wow, you couldn't even wait 24 hours and you had to do this here? It's not what it looks like. No, no, it's exactly what it looks like. Once a cheater, always a cheater. He's been texting me and I've been trying to tell you that. Really? It's, Travis, it's not what you think. <laughs> Travis. Come on, Cece. You gonna listen to her? You always knew that she was a psycho, right? What'd you call her? Oh, look, here's another one. Guess that's why she still likes you, huh? Your girlfriend played you, man. Get up! I'm getting sick and tired of you ruining everything. Okay, no, stop, stop it! Stop! Get off my cousin! Oh my God, hey, you guys, stop! Hey! You're very impressive, Maeve. Thank you so much for showing me around. I wish I could stay for your event. Yeah, me too. It's going to be wonderful. Guys! Guys, stop! stop! This is literally Aren't a those your volunteers? I'm not playing. Get off him. Get him! Well, it was really nice meeting you. Me? Oh my god, are you okay? It's from Columbia. I didn't get in, because good news never comes in small envelopes. Let me see. Oh my god, Maeve, you got waitlisted. Oh my god, that's even worse. <laughs> it's way too early for this. It's way too early for this. Right. Good morning, my favorite agents of chaos. Are we out of punches today, or? Dude. He was totally deranged. That guy Peter deserved it. Right, so are you gonna be the one to explain to Dr. Henry that the son of our biggest donor got beat up in a hospital parking lot because he's a stupid teenage boy? Hmm? Yeah, I thought so. So until we figure out what to do with the both of you, you guys are on cleaning duty. Now, uh, please do not bother Maeve today. She's absolutely- I'm fine. You know, my entire future is in jeopardy and thanks to you lot, they're probably axing this entire program. What? what? What are you talking about? Yeah, well, literal violence at a VIP event isn't exactly the best look. The board's deciding by end of day today whether or not they're axing the program, and the only reason they haven't done it already is because, I don't know, like the auction was successful or something. Wow, really? Yeah, you can thank your ex-boyfriend's parents for me. Thankfully, their donations are non-refundable. There has to be something we could do to save the program. Yeah, there is, actually. Try not to do any more damage than you already have. Okay. Roxy and Cece, come with me. We have a patient to take care of. Have you had a chance to talk to Dr. Henry? If I could. If only Dr. Atkins would just leave him alone for like literally just a minute. It's disgusting. What do you mean? They seem so interested in each other and it's literally getting on my final nerves. I mean, I'm sorry, but it's not easy watching your own mother get cheated on at the place whoa, that you're just trying whoa, to work whoa, 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 at. Whoa, Benny. Isn't there some slight possibility that there is nothing going on between those two? <laughs> I guess, I don't. Maybe? Um, yeah. I don't know, I just, everything's honestly, like everything is going wrong, okay? Roxy and Cece are being so annoying and making me look bad. Okay. Which Benny. I have an issue. Benny, some things are out of your control. You can't babysit everyone all the time. You know, the people around here need to seriously act their own age. Yeah, like me. 
Exactly. <laughs> you like always know what to say, don't you? You make it easy. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Wow. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't mean to just like say that. I didn't know you'd have yeah, an issue. Yeah. No. It, it's fine. You don't seem fine. Uh, like what's? Thank what, you. I should probably. I should probably go. Uh. Yeah. I'll just I'll I'll text you. It's not that bad. Not that bad? Not that bad? Here, drink some water. <laughs> How do you expect me to win Miss Attaway like this? I look like a raspberry. A cute raspberry? Can I get you anything? No! It's all because of my stupid boyfriend. He had PBJ and just had to give me a good luck kiss. <laughs> That's, um, concerning. He knows I'm allergic. It's like they all share one brain cell or something. Amen. Amen. And now he's texting, trying to get me back, being all cute, like he didn't just give me the kiss of death and ruin my career. I've been there. <laughs> me too. We got through this. Are you sure I can't get you anything? What about a soap? Come on, dude. Let's have some fun. Seriously, lighten up. It's not like we're gonna stick around here anymore. Dude, I've had it. First, you force me into this program, and then as soon as I'm starting to like it here, you blow the whole thing up. You don't get to decide what I do and when I leave. So if you could just shut up, do things my way for once. Sure. Let's do things your way. Let's sit and wait for things to happen. You're right. You wouldn't be here without me. You would be nowhere. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Amelia, fantastic news. We've got your kidney. Are you serious? Yes, we found a match. Your kidney's on the way. I can't believe it. I'm gonna get everything started. Hey, congratulations. I know, right? A new kidney and Columbia? Things are really turning up. Yeah, good for you. Any word from Columbia? Yeah. Um, I got waitlisted. Ugh, bummer. Sorry to hear that. That's almost worse than not actually getting in. You're not actually sorry. Congratulations. You won. Ooh, there's some shine that you got there. You okay, man? Where's your girl? She's not my girl anymore. I just screwed that up. She's not over her ex. Ouch. So she's with him then? Not exactly. So she chose you? Yeah, but I mean... Listen, man, love is a choice. And it looks like she's trying to choose you. So let her. Yeah, but... But nothing. Doesn't matter how much you like each other. Without communication, you're doomed. Just tell her. What else have you got to lose? You're right. I got nothing. That's right. I'm rooting for you. Now, I, on the other hand, need to get B a takeout from the taco place that she loves. I bet hit the road. Died. That's the saddest expression I've ever seen. My relationship. I told Mikey I loved him. And that's amazing. He said thank you. Like I'd pass him the salt. He was probably just taken off guard. 
I adore Mikey, but he's not the most graceful under pressure. Just give him some time. How much time? Shouldn't he know I'm amazing by now? Today sucks. I'm sorry. But hey, at least Cece and I are finally civil. Wow. I'm proud of you. <laughs> it only took the program ending, but... I wish there was something we could do. Where'd she go? She's on the phone outside, nearly not her boyfriend. Ah, uh -huh. you think they're gonna get back together? Probably, what a handful, huh? Sounds like Peter. <laughs> <laughs> the toxic ones can be the hardest to shake. Tell me about it. Though, it didn't seem that hard for you. I could just see him a little more clearly. Can't believe I messed things up so bad. Don't give up so soon. Hi, Travis. Hey. Hi. I was wondering if we could talk? Yeah. Have you told him yet? No, but I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not good at these kind of conversations. It's so hard. I never thought anything like this would happen to me. It's for the best. You deserve to be happy with someone who loves you. It's time. I guess. I just can't wait for this to be over. I haven't told Benny. Well, you're gonna have to have the conversation with him sooner or later. Might as well be sooner. You know, I also have to talk to Georgia. I mean, I'm still her dad, and on how she feels about everything. We can get Thai food and watch the love taxi. I can't. I, I, I have responsibilities here. Okay. No worries. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just realizing you can't trust anyone anymore. And when I tell people I'll be there for them, I mean it. It's just, I'm sick of it not being reciprocated. Benny. Um, oh. Okay, this is a lot harder than them said it would be. Oh, where is he? I want to say goodbye before. They left. But I just wanted to say that. I just wanted to say that. Are you okay? Everyone okay? Oh my god. This place is such a bust. Uh, are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Attaway General. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh there god. is a power line down on Main Street and a 10 car pile up on the highway. There's gonna be more. Oh my god, okay. What can we do? Uh, grab a phone and brace yourselves. Sorry, can you please hold it? All right, sorry. Oh, Adelaide General? Thank you. Okay, Adelaide yep. General? I'm sorry. Adelaide General? Call the code trauma and prep the OR. I need a crash cart. This patient is Cody. Travis, Roxy, I need you guys on patient intake. Okay, you got it. Coming through, coming through. Make way, make way, coming through. Is that Liam? Oh my god. Get him hooked up to the monitor. BP is 140 over 80, his GCS is 3, he's completely obtunded. His pupils are dilated. 
What's his name? Liam Light. Liam? Liam, can you hear me? Mr. Light, you are at Attaway General. I want you to squeeze my hand if you can hear me. He's unresponsive. I need a CT stack. Nina! Oh my gosh! Hi! Uh, this is crazy. Wait, when did you get back in town? What, how, how have you been? What, what, oh, what happened to your hand? Are you okay? I'm back from college for the weekend. Just my luck, huh? But <coughs> enough about me. Can I help? No, you just take care of yourself, okay? Um, I wish I could stay for a second, but I really have to go. It's okay. We'll catch up. You have to tell me all about your Columbia application. Yeah. Good luck out there. See you again. The patient was coding and so we took him to ER. The doctor came in. Out of the way, General? Yes, can I put you on a refill? Okay, thank you. All right, separate the family from the patients and get the most urgent ones checked in. We're on it. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for holding. Yes, what's your mother's name? Okay, what room is she in? Okay, just try to remain calm and we'll have someone check on her right now, okay? Thank you. I'm on it. Out of way, General. B? Oh my god, are you okay? Roxy, thank god. We were in a car accident. Uh, have you seen Liam? They took us in separate ambulances. Doctor! Maeve! What is going on? I'm supposed to be getting ready for pre-op, but they asked me to wait. Um, I think everything is backed up because of the earthquake. I'm not really sure. But there's a time frame for these types of things, and no one will tell me anything. Dr. Henry? Amelia, I am so sorry. I just found out. Found out what? All of the air traffic in the area has been shut down because of the earthquake, including the helicopter that was bringing your kidney. So when's it going to get here? It's not. I had to give it to someone else. I'm so sorry. I have to go. This is a very delicate situation. But I might want you to spend some time with her after I have to go. So please, my dear. Mrs. Light. Your husband has suffered a traumatic brain injury. And a CT scan showed that his brain herniated so severely that it's beyond the scope of recovery. I am so sorry, Mrs. Light, but there's nothing more we can do for him. Okay. So when does he come off the ventilator? He won't be able to. The machines are the only thing that's keeping him alive right now. now you will decide when you want to take him off life support. I want you to focus on what you think Liam would want. There's an opportunity here to prevent any further suffering. Do you understand? Yeah, I think so. I just need to talk it over with Liam, and then I'll get back to you. O okay. We'll move him upstairs, and you just take your time. Okay. Roxy Travis, hey, please sit there. parents. I don't even have a phone. It's okay. We can help. Coming through? Coming through! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. What are you doing just standing there? I don't know what to do. If you're not gonna help, just get out the way! Yes, your wife is here. She's being treated for minor cuts and possible concussion. Um... Yeah. Yes, I'll let her know. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. How many are incoming? Five ambulances in route, but they're backed up. We need you right now in ER4. Okay, I'll be right there. Hey, Benny, have you heard from your mom? She hasn't gotten back to me yet. Like you care. Excuse me? She's home. She's fine. You should go. Hey, stay hydrated. Here's a water for you, ma'am. Maeve, hi. 
Oh, Rebecca, what, what are you doing here? Oh, I was on the stairs when the earthquake hit and I think I sprained my ankle. Do you know what the wait time is? I could be in and out. We're really overwhelmed right now because of the earthquake, so if you can stand the pain overnight, I'd honestly come back another time. Oh. Um, I'm so sorry, I actually need to go. But here, have some water. Thanks, of course, do your thing. Thank you. Set me free. Put on the chains that you make for me. We're gonna hear when we stop the lies. We're gonna see when we turn on the light. Okay? What do you think? You'll get the next one. You have time. No, I don't. I need a transplant this month if I want to be fully recovered by fall. Now, I have to wait another year. If I even make it. I am so sorry. Well, we're both on the wait list. Maybe now you'll have a chance, though. Amelia, that is not how I would have wanted to get in. Yeah, well... We can't have everything. Benny, what can I do to help? Sorry, what'd you say? Are you okay? Yeah, I just, I haven't heard from Mikey and I'm like, you know. I'm sure you'll hear from him. Teenage boy unconscious! Oh my god. Possible internal bleeding! Let's get him to the yard three now. Peter! Oh my god! Who is it? Is it Mikey? It's Peter. Oh my god. Light hair are some of your husband's personal belongings. Is there anything I can do for you or anyone I can call? It's okay. Not like they can get here anyway. I'm taking him off life support. It's no point in prolonging this. This isn't Leo. I think that what you're doing is very brave. And I can't imagine how difficult it must be. <laughs> he made it easy. He was weirdly adamant about this, actually. He made everything so easy. What's going to happen? Well, first the nurse will come in and she will extubate him. Then he'll be given some morphine and then we wait. It might take a while. Would you mind staying? Of course, I can stay. I need help! Are you okay? <laughs> what does it look like? We need a doctor. My wife's about to faint. I'm in labor. You're in labor? I, I, mean, I mean, my wife's in labor and I'm... About to faint. I'll go get someone. No, please. This kid is ready to greet the world. I'm serious. Not feeling okay. No, hold on. I feel the head coming. There's no time. This kid is coming. No, no, we gotta no, no, do no, this. No, no, no. He's no, coming. No, 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 no. Ah! 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 Here's us at the Grand Canyon. Drove two days without stopping. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> and then here we were at Florida. We went to Walt Disney World. It's really fun. Miss Light, are you ready? Guess it's our cue, Liam.
be, I'm really sorry to ask this, but was Liam an organ donor? I think so. Nurse Christine, don't turn anything off just yet. He's coming! We need help over here! Yes, yes. I'm not going anywhere. Dr. Henry, we're ready. Great. Let's get started. How are you feeling? Like I got a new kidney. Well, I'm really glad that surgery went well. And I'm really glad about Columbia as well. I'm sorry that I was rude about it earlier. Freshman year, you got the highest DPA in the class by a fraction of a point over mine. My parents were so upset, I can still see the look on their faces. Wait, how do you even remember that? Because you won. And I was jealous. Wait, you were jealous of me? Don't act so surprised. It was exhausting trying to keep up. The hospital and the dancing. Do you even sleep? Hardly. Thanks for saving my life. I didn't do anything. Honestly, it was a miracle that Liam's kidney was even a match. It's not a miracle, but it is a less than 4.2% chance. <laughs> I guess you've finally gotten a one on me. Yeah, well, I guess that was my plan all along. <laughs> How are you feeling today? A lot better than yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> He's adorable. What's his name? Edward James. I love it. Would you like to hold him? Oh, I, no. yes, sure. Careful, careful. Can't believe you helped deliver a baby. Didn't know you had it in you. Edward, baby deliverer. Maybe after all, you do have a spine. All I did was hold her hand. That's a lot more than Parker. Hey, I was there. I was asleep, but I, I was still there, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, he has your eyes and my nose. <laughs> look, my chubby guy. <laughs> I hate that I'm so upset. You know, Peter sucks, but I'm still so worried. I shouldn't feel so uh, about this. It's normal to be upset, honey. Like you're human. <laughs> The boy is in critical condition, and he was a big part of your life. It's not just a switch you can flip on and off, you know? Still nothing from Mikey? The silence is so loud. I really screwed things up. You couldn't have. You guys care too much about each other. It's borderline annoying. It's not a switch, remember? He'll reach out. Hey, Benny, can we talk for a minute? I'll give you a sec. Did the board make a decision about the program yet? No, no, not yet. Mm. Is that why you're so upset today? I'm upset because of my mom. I know there's something going on with you and Dr. Atkins, and I'm not gonna let you hurt my mom. Benny, there is nothing going on between Dr. Atkins and I. I can assure you, she's a happily married woman. I heard you talking to her about moving on from someone who really cares about you and how you didn't want to tell me because I'm too fragile. Benny, like, no, no, no. I was talking about my ex-wife. I'm finalizing my divorce so I can ask your mom to marry me. So you aren't, you aren't cheating on her? No. Benny, I love your mom, and you boys, and with your blessing, I will- Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, do you need help? Sure. You okay? Yeah. Just feel weird, um, but I still want to have that talk. Yeah, okay. Roxy, Peter's awake, and he's asking for you.
I did. I double checked that. Maybe. I was looking for you. Just give me one second, thank you. Uh, me? Why? The Columbia Admissions Office called me this morning. Apparently they begun pulling people from the wait list and they wanted to know how our interview went. Oh, okay. I know what I saw during our interview was chaotic, but what I saw after the earthquake was something else entirely. Anybody can wish to be a doctor, but it's the people that do what you did that actually become them. Columbia would be lucky to have you. <gasps> and that's what I told them. Really? I'm pretty sure I'll see you at some of the alumni mixers. Thank you so much. Uh, you... <laughs> oh my gosh. Congratulations. I'll see you around, okay? Correct. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good, Benny. You're here. Hi. Um, can you go to the shed and get me some bandages? Yeah, sure. Do you mind if like I just like right look now? Like right now. Sure. Uh, okay. Hurry up. Oh. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? What are, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I used all the pedals on the floor. I mean, you could have gotten like another bouquet or something. I just need to say something. What? I'm sorry, I didn't text you back. I should have, but I knew you'd be mad at me for texting and driving. Mm-hmm, I would, I would. And then I heard from Roxy about how crazy things were here and I just, I thought I'd give you some space. Hey, for the record, I hate space. Yeah. Me too. I'm sorry for how I reacted when you said I love you. I got scared and panicked and it's stupid because I don't, you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love you, Benny. Thank you. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I love you too. Wait. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't mean to like ruin the moment, but the flower petals, mm -hmm. they gotta get picked up. I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> I'm on it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you're awake. Me too. I heard you woke up. Are you okay? Just wanna, uh, I'm so sorry. To both of you. What I did was... Awful? Me? Yeah, both. I shouldn't have kissed Cece and cheated on you, Roxy. Wait, I didn't know that. I know. Thanks, Peter. You're forgiven. I hope you get better, but please, lose my number. Mine, too. Wait, 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 wait what? Cece? Ro Roxy? <laughs> that was amazing. It was amazing, wasn't it? Excuse me? Yes? I'm a little lost. Could you help me find my boyfriend's room? Sure, what's his name? Peter, room two. He's in there, good luck. <laughs> oh my god, there he is. What? <laughs> I could not believe him. Oh, hey, have you seen Travis? Yeah, he just left, but he was looking pretty upset. Upset? Why? And. Where did he go? I don't know. He was here and he saw you guys and then he left. Oh God. I have to go find him. 
Travis! What's up? Whatever you think, I'm totally over Peter. I like you. Like, a lot. Yeah, it's pretty obvious. It is? Then why'd you leave? I was gonna get you gummy worms. I know they're your favorite. And I figured you would need sugar because you just talked to Peter. Oh, I thought. Listen, I've been trying to get with you for days and we always get interrupted. Well, there's no one here now. Finally. My husband Liam always said, we shouldn't fear mistakes. We should fear regrets. Mistakes mean we lived fearlessly. Regret means we let fear live for us. So if I can offer you any words of wisdom for your college years, it's to be fearless, <laughs> make mistakes, and enjoy every second of your life. Ew. They're so cute, it makes me sick. That was disgusting. <laughs> Maeve, I would just like to say congratulations. Columbia is lucky to have such a bright young mind. And hey, don't forget about us. The TV program can always use some extra hands during the summer. And we'd be lucky to have you back, too. Well, we've had some ups and uh, a few downs. But in the end, you all really stepped up. The board was beyond impressed with the way you all came together during the earthquake. So thank you. Thank you for saving our program. Can I trust you guys to keep the program alive? I think we can handle it. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs>